Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel. We're doing something a little different today. One of the reasons I set up the loft the way we did is we now have a kind of comfy, cool place to sit down and have chats and whatnot. But what we're doing tonight is, well, let me start off by saying, it's been a long week. It's been a long week at work, long week, as you saw in the previous video with you know Henry at his new school. I decided tonight I just wanted to come home and relax, but unfortunately stuff happened at work where I didn't get to come home till super late. So I'm still trying to relax and I'm going to do something I've been wanting to do for a while. Tonight, Blue Beetle has hit HBO Max, so I'm going to watch it. So I got my preparations, got my popcorn, got my milk duds. Thought I had red vines before you say anything. I love red vines, don't want to hear it. And I got some lemonade going. So let's sit back, let's relax. Let's watch Blue Beetle, and afterwards, let's talk about our review on it. All right? Let it roll. Let it roll. Wait, will you hit play already? Oh, wait, it's me. Sorry. One more fun thing. I got all the lights up here hooked up, so let's have a little fun. Hey, Google, turn the loft blue. Sure. Changing two lights to blue. That's how we roll. And play. Delicious. Well, that's all she wrote. Let's talk about it. So I have to say, I really liked how it started off. In fact, they start off with a like a song by Calle Trece, which make, made me go back to. I'm sorry about my pronunciation. I'm really tired. Made me go back to my days in college and think about this. I'm born and raised here in Tucson, Arizona, and I grew up in a predominantly Hispanic culture, and. I'm love to see that Jaime Reyes is like right into the limelight with DC. And just on a scale from one to 10, I give the movie a solid seven, especially when you consider it is a DC movie. Cause up to this point, the DC movies have been a lot of production without a lot of substance. Um, I think it was lighthearted and fun. Like you got kind of got with Aquaman to me, the movie itself is if you combined Iron Man two with a little bit of Deadpool, little bit of Kazam and the visual cues of Aquaman. Now with that being said, I'll be the first to say, party didn't see me filming. I may have dozed off there for a while, but in all fairness to the movie, I had a long day and it's now after midnight. I enjoyed it. Did I, do I regret not going and sitting in theaters? I do not. I'm glad I waited for it to watch it here at home. So I think about a solace in theaters, I've been like, ugh. I should have waited until like it came on HBO Max or Netflix or whatever. But for all intents and purposes, I did enjoy the movie. I'm, I'm actually going to watch it again. And I like the fact they paid homage to what the Blue Beetle was. That was kind of cool. Kind of reminded me of watching Batman the Animated Series with the Grey Ghost. And I like the dynamics between the villain, in this case, Omek, which, you know, which was created by Jack Kirby back in 1974. And I love me some Jack Kirby. And I love the fact that they kind of it's based off the newer version, which came out like in 2003, 2004. The character itself, the character was created by Jack Kirby, you know, the one man army corps. And it kind of had a uh, whiplash vibes from Iron Man 2. It's why I kind of connected with that movie earlier. But all in all, I really enjoyed it. And I'm sad to see that they're not going this direction. I think this, along with Shazam and what possibly could have happened with the new Aquaman movie. Would have been worth watching and seeing what direction they're going in. Especially with DC kind of, or DC, with Marvel kind of on a decline. Although I have to admit, I still really want to go see the Marvels, but it's not a movie that didn't really appeal for me to go see it opening weekend. But I've heard nothing but good things from those who have seen it, especially that mid credit scene. All right, well, if you haven't watched it, it's now on HBO Max. If you have a subscription, go watch Blue Beetle. Or get it off iTunes or any other streaming services like Prime or what have you. All in all, it was really cool. Well, thanks for taking another ride with us, and let's take another ride again soon. Thanks for watching Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel Cinema Edition. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm tired. Hmm.